So I the thing that gets me really excited and actually gives me is thinking about gamification and serious games in teaching and learning and, and um, also you know, specifically in online learning and to enhance student engagement. And so I've been thinking about this a lot and I noticed at the conference um, the theme with the plenary was awesome. Um, um, uh, Sebastian did a great job of uh, really talking about MOOCs and, and uh, some of these elements that I think are in everybody's minds and definitely on, uh, I think, people's um, uh, uh, agendas to learn more about. And one of the things that I really like about the conference is bringing some of these issues um, to the table so that we can all look at them from different perspectives and see how we can uh, apply them in our own different contexts. And so, so having him, Bastion as the keynote was awesome. The QR codes, I think, um, in the conference were also uh, really so um, giving people on their badges the little um, the QR code. I think that was uh, really sad. Um, in my own work, I'm thinking about badging and I'm thinking about game, gamifying faculty development and uh, instructional designers and trying to use that to um, have uh, um, it to increase networking and community building. So I'm trying to think about how I can do that with our community, our very vibrant community of instructional designers, uh, and also as an element for faculty development. So all these thoughts are kind of going through my mind as I'm going from session to session here at the conference. And then I start thinking about next year and the conference next year. Who could we have? Uh, so Jane McGonagall comes to mind immediately, and I would die, kill, you know, whatever to see her, to have her. That would be so fabulous. And, and I start thinking also about having a Sloan game, something that would really be uh, good and cool with a purpose to help people um, further conversations, continue conversations, and, and uh, network, and, and have it be uh, purposeful. So having um, quests, I guess, if you will, for uh, people to do uh, purposeful things, so um, be a particular session, introduce themselves to, uh, to a, a fellow or a Sloan <laughs> member, or um, uh, find out, you know, what role a certain person plays in the Sloan uh, organization, what it takes to be a um, steering committee or a, or a chair of one of the, um, of the tracks, uh, of the program tracks. Really um, having people introduce uh, themselves to a new member, for example, someone here for the first time, something that would support um, networking and further in conversation. So I, I think it would be fabulous if um, Shannon River and Tristan were involved in creating that, um, that game so that it would actually be really cool and good. <laughs> um, uh, of course, I would love to help out. <laughs> um, and, um, and really just trying to continue to see um, what kinds of things we can do and explore both at the conference and uh, in our own individual work. Oh, another idea I had was um, we were talking at, about it um, yesterday during the reception about having um, um, a, a game challenge uh, that then we could put out prior to the conference and have people design some uh, learning um, uh, activity uh, so it would be released as a challenge uh, to the community prior to the conference and people could come back um, with their uh, with their game design for that particular challenge. They could be given parameters or whatever. And then the top three would be picked and would be showcased uh, as a panel presentation for the conference. Um, and, you know, something could, I think it could be pretty cool. Um, so anyway, all of these thoughts are going through my head as I am um, looking at the sessions and listening in on the uh, keynote and plenary and talking to people. I'm having a great time.